to have Alexander Silva, subject matter, Bank Street Armory. <coughs> Silva, 148 Purchase Street. Members of the City Council, after the Council's vote last meeting and continued community support for exploring other possibilities, I ask that the Council not rush forward the proposal to sell the Bank Street Armory. The City should not be operating on any self-induced deadline, and that's what tonight's vote is. Farver has a terrible track record when it comes to selling historical city property, and this sh process should be improved, not rushed, to ensure the best outcomes for all Farver residents. Uh, citing the Bedford Street Police Station as an example of what could happen to the armory should not be used to scare the public. If anything, the city should learn from its past mistakes with the police station, since the city is largely responsible for its current condition after choosing to never stabilize the structure, as it's doing with the armory. The city has known about the armory's poor condition for many years, deferring maintenance under the premise that others have also deferred maintenance continuously loses more value for Fall River, whereas stabilization efforts uh, would provide the city with time for the armory's best redevelopment. Stabilization efforts to make the armory weather tight and halt further deterioration would only be a fraction of the total 10 to 12 million repair costs that's only been cited so far. The city could go out to bid again and advertise the project beyond statewide publications to better attract national developers. Uh, the city could advertise in the Massachusetts Central Register under the design services category as well as the real estate category mm -hmm. to expand the pool of applicants to include potential national development teams. Uh, perhaps the city could remove restrictive requirements in the RFP such as the $20,000 bid deposit required to even submit a response. There should be a higher standard. There should be higher standards and expectations when selling city property, specifically because uh, the overall community investment cannot be measured by the market value of a property, which ignores the initial publicly funded construction costs and years of upkeep, as well as historical, cultural, and social significance. Now is the time for the city to invest in itself and stabilize the Bank Street Armory, solicit community input, and come up with the best plan to redevelop the building into the community focal point it had been for decades. I ask that the City Council recommend the Armory proposal to the Subcommittee on Real Estate for proper discussion, as it should have been done at the onset of this process, one would think. Uh, this would give residents in the city time to evaluate what the Armory's best future is for Fall River. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.